Hey guys, and welcome back. My name is O'Hapel, and today we're going to be talking about my next virtual reality headset kind of upgrade. And I bet you're thinking about now, why are we looking at a picture of a dinosaur? Well, this is why. Um, the next version kind of makes you look like a parasaur. I think that's what that dinosaur is called, at least. It gives you kind of this horn look, but it is actually a very nice design. What we've done is we've moved away from the LED model and moved to a gyroscopic mouse. So we're still using mouse control to control the virtual reality, which has a lot of upsides, a lot of downsides as well. Um, it's compatible with a lot of games, but it's not as virtual reality-esque. You can't do roll and stuff like that. And here you see exactly how responsive it is. It's much, much more responsive in almost every way. This specific gyroscopic mouse that I'm using costs $20 on Amazon. I'll link it in the description down below. Go check that out. It is very, very cheap. I mean, the LED concept that you were going to have to build before was going to cost you somewhere between maybe five and ten dollars so this is about ten or fifteen dollars more expensive than the old version but it is significantly better it has a lot of advantages first off it's easier to install less lag it's wireless you can play it in another room with head tracking there's just it's easier to install all the way around it's a lot better now the reason we have it sticking up the back like that is because this does have to have the orientation um, such that the front is at the front you can't turn it on its side or vertically or anything like that and this allows us to actually get a very good weight balance so that's the reason we went with that specific design all we've done is um, used hot glue to glue the front of the unit down and then use a piece of foam board to kind of support it in the back and then glued that down with hot glue as well very easy to install once you have the batteries in there you just hit a button and it's on, you plug in the USB part into your computer, and you are playing right then. No extra software, which also helps save some CPU power as well. We are still using our mobile phones as a display. We are using the app called Splashtop. You can Google it. It's um, on your phone and on your computer. And people have been talking about, you know, what kind of lag does this give you? It does give you some lag between the time that you actually move it and you see it on your computer screen to the time that you actually see it on your phone. Now I went ahead and did a high speed test, 240 frames per second, and counted the frames between one monitor and the other. Turns out at 240 frames per second, I was getting between eight and 15 frames behind. Now for a quick translation, that means one to two frames behind if you're gaming at 30 frames per second, and two to four frames behind if you are gaming at 60 frames per second. So this isn't gone completely. There is still a little bit of lag in there, that said, it is not distracting at all. I didn't find any problems with it. It's not ideal for playing Call of Duty online, but when you're playing games like Minecraft, you'll forget it almost instantly. I believe that this gyroscopic mouse design works with the Derovis Dive. I'll link their um, website in the description down below. That's a professional head mounted display that you can buy that uses your phone. I'm hoping to test that this week and I'll let you guys know on that. And it still obviously works with my do-it-yourself model and I'll link the article in the description of this video on where you can actually go to find the instructions to make the one that I made. It's very easy to make and this whole project if you do build it yourself from the scratch you're looking probably at 25 to 50 dollars and if you go ahead and go with the Derovis dive you're looking at I think what would that be 90 dollars or so. Very fun project. This is the, what really finishes it off. I think the LED models were okay but this is the way that it was meant to be done. We're still using Tridef 3D to get a lot of our games working, Minecraft for Minecraft, and some other Oculus Rift games. We are using mouse control, which again doesn't give you p positional tracking and doesn't give you roll. So you're only getting the up, down, left, right movement. But again, it's compatible with almost all games, and it's much, much, much cheaper than getting something like an Oculus Rift. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure to like, favorite, and subscribe if you did, and I will see you tomorrow. Take it easy.